Yes, yes, guys, welcome back to another video. You guys requested it, so I'm doing it. It's a Matthias Nunes reaction video. Obviously, Manchester City looking at signing Matthias Nunes from Wolves. Um, this transfer window already had one bid made. What a strike that is. Obviously, doesn't really score too many goals, actually, if you look at his stats. I think he's got like six goals for Wolves since he's been there. Um, but obviously, more. Of, I think we're signing this guy. Funny how Paqueta's on the actual clip there. Obviously, City wanted as well. I think... City are looking at Nunes not really for the goals and assists. He's more for sort of like a more of a defensive-minded type of player. That's a nice dribble. Of course, Portuguese player, so he's going to be nice, tricky on the ball. And he's great at carrying the ball out from tight situations, which is obviously we've had a little bit of a difficult moment with, with Phillips. He's not really been quick enough, in my opinion, in the tight spaces to be able to get himself out of the gap. So that's obviously why probably City are looking at making a move for Matthias Nunes. Um, and I think if we do get Matthias Nunes in, I would imagine that Calvin Phillips would leave the football club. But that's some nice play there as he carries the ball forward. One thing that I would say, slight negative that I've noticed from, from compilations that I've seen on Twitter. He's not got as good ball control as, as I thought. He, his touch isn't actually like as good as I thought. Like Just see if you notice that he's, he has quite a lot of like heavy touches in tight spaces and manages to get out of there because of his speed. Um, but yeah, just, just, just see if you notice that, because of course, if we are getting pressed, having good ball control is really, really important to be able to get in out of tight situation. So yeah, just have a, just have a look at that when you're watching this reaction video and then tell me in the comments if I'm chatting shit. Look at that. That's not a great touch. That's not a great touch. I don't know. Maybe I'm being harsh, man. I feel like I'm, I'm going ultra critical, but I don't know why. Long ball over the top there. And of course, remember, Manchester City did actually want to sign Matthias Nunes last summer before we went to Wolves, but obviously he never got as far as making a bid. So, you know, you can see why City have gone in for Nunes. They, they, they've had some interest in the past as he goes for a nice switch ball out there. So he can do that. That's nice to see. Yeah, that's nice play against City, that as well. That's good play. Oh, that's a great ball. Imagine that's Jack Grealish. Scores, scores. Jackie GNA getting himself a goal. I think he's going to be a really interesting player for City. Another one here against Man City. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. The pace is wild. And, and actually, you know what? I've got to say, if, the, if you want to ask me why do you think Phillips hasn't really worked out at Manchester City, I think the main thing for me is he's, he's not quick enough. You've got to be quick in this City team. You've got to be moving the ball around quickly and getting around the pitch quicker. And that's probably the reason for me that that Calvin Phillips hasn't quite worked out. And I think that obviously Phillips being a lot lot quicker than, than uh, Nunes being a lot quicker than Phillips, I think that will help him a lot. He also doesn't mind carrying the ball forward with, with dribbles, which is good as well. I think that's something that, that we could, we could uh, benefit from. But again, that wasn't the best touch in the world. The only reason I'm saying it is because like, I don't know. He's going to be playing in a, in a midfield. Oh, that's great play. That's great play. I think I'm chatting. I think I'm waffling, to be honest with you. Am I waffling? I'm, let me know in the comments. I might be waffling here. Uh, yeah, look, that's nice. He's very physical and strong, isn't he? Because if you look at him, he's not actually that big. He's not actually like a massive guy. So you think, oh, he might get knocked off the ball quite easy. But he doesn't. He doesn't get knocked off the ball easy at all. He's, he's, he's actually very strong. Again, sorry if any of these clips, by the way, you can't see because my face is getting in the way. It's really difficult to decide where to put my face when I'm doing these reaction videos. Maybe I need to get a green screen and literally just cut out the background, man. Is that something that I should do? Let me know in the comments. Nice finish, man. Nice finish. You see, he's had a couple of goals here, but if you check his transfer mark record, he doesn't actually score that many. So we've probably seen every single goal he's ever scored in this compilation. Nice play. Nice play. What happens here? That's not him. Oh, it must have been the block. Look how quick he is to get back in. Nice. He seems like he's very, very eager defensively. Ah, guys, you know what? I'm, I'm liking this signing. I am. I'm getting a bit more gassed for it. I'm getting, I'm getting, getting excited, man. Good tackle. Nice. He's, he's looking good, mate. I can't lie. The only thing that I would say, yeah. Is do you agree with the signing of Nunes in lieu of getting a player in the more attacking position? Because listen, I think there is a potential that City could get Nunes and get an attacking midfielder. But if we don't, what do you think is more important? Let me know in the comments. Do you think 
getting a defensive player like Nunes? Or do you think getting a more attacking player like Eze? Which one do you think is most important? For me, when you have a look at how much Rodri's played football over the last couple of years, he needs someone who can take the pressure off him a little bit. So for me, I am now starting to change my mind and think actually maybe a defensive player is kind of what we need. But it's really tricky as well because at the moment you do only have Foden available in that attacking midfield position. Because of course, Kevin De Bruyne's out injured, Kovacic... Kovacic isn't really an attacking player, so I don't know. It's an interesting debate, and, and people have different views on it, so let me know your thoughts, man. Here we got some uh, retro footage. Some retro footage there. <sighs> yeah, nice. Nice goal. You can see why you can see why Wolves spent, what, 40-odd million pounds on him last year to sign him from uh, Sporting Lisbon. Big, big player. Nice carry again against City. That was last year we had Fernandinho on the pitch. That's sad. Oh no, it wasn't last year. We didn't have Fernandinho last year. I don't know why Fernandinho was on the pitch then. Maybe they signed. Maybe they had him two years. I don't know. Maybe I've got it wrong. I thought they only had him for one year, but they must have had him for two. Nice play. Can he get the pass off? Yes, he does. It's these positions that I think he's, he's great in. That is great play. That was it. Honestly, great play. He's so strong. He's a lot stronger than I thought he was, you know. Oh, good cross as well. Good cross as well. We have literally seen every single goal and assist he's ever scored in this one compilation video, man. Crazy. Oh, nice play for Matthias Nunes there. Matthias Nunes. Like it was going to be someone else. We're doing a Matthias Nunes compilation. What am I, what am I talking about, man? Oh, that's great play. That's Cancelo-esque. Gets the finish as well. That's a great goal. That's a great goal. Great ball. Go on. Oh, he messed it up, man. He ruined it for him. What the hell? He could have had a pre-assist there, man. That's a great pass. That was a great pass. I don't know if you guys seen it. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, he shouldn't have touched that. He should have let it run. He's exciting me, man. I can't lie. It's just how much is it going to cost? Manchester City are putting a £47 million bid, which was instantly rejected. It was £55 million including add-ons. And apparently, we're nowhere near the valuation. So, my question to you guys is how much would you be prepared to go up to to sign Matthias Nunes from Wolves? You know what I mean? Because it's you're getting up there then. You're getting up there with the big, big cash. Are you willing to go to 65 70 75 80 million? I don't know, man. I'd probably go 60, maybe 65 at a push. But then some people will say, but LB, why do you care how much we spend? It's not your money. I don't know. Nice play as he carries it round. Good play, man. Listen, I'm excited for this guy. I think he's going to be a decent signing if we can get him across the line. I think he's going to allow us to move Calvin Phillips on, which I think is in the best interest of everybody at the football club, the manager, the squad, the team, and Phillips himself, because he's just not going to play. I think Nunes can take the pressure off Rodri. I think we'll be able to drop Rodri for games and rest him. We'll be able to take him off with 30 minutes to go rather than five minutes to go because we, we're too scared of the team crumbling. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I want to know, are you happy with Nunes? Would you rather Nunes or an attacking player? How much would you be prepared to sign him for? And finally, who do you want to see next on a reaction video? Guys, been a pleasure as always. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later.